Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your mid-July reading. July 16th through the 22nd is what it's supposed to be for, but this can resonate whenever it resonates with you. Keep in mind that if it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. Okay? Generally my readings are love readings, so just that's the way it is. And if you are in a happily ever after relationship, then this reading is not for you. We're going to get one of these, we're going to get one of these, and then we're going to break into that tarot deck. If you'd like a private reading, the information is in the description box below. If it flips out while I'm shuffling, you get to see it now, otherwise we will reveal it at the end. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. trying to make a decision whether to stay or go in regards to a commitment and regards to a relationship or something that you've been committed to or were committed to should I should I go or should I stay indecisive about moving on um, you have two paths may somebody may have thought the grass was greener on the other side okay and maybe it's they've come to the conclusion that it's not it's not Or it is. It could be it is. Maybe the grass is. But this is discontent, so I don't know. Ooh. Ignoring the truth. Oh, jeez. Blocking. Blocking the truth. Yeah, you know the truth, but I refuse to accept the truth. This is, this is the card of ignoring the truth. And you have to make a decision in regards to something that you were committed to or are committed to. Okay, commitment. Somebody, these are both decisions, choices. You have to make a choice. Do you choose to accept the truth or not? Do you choose to move on or do you choose to go back? What is it going to be, Pisces? It's the story of your life. Back and forth. Back and forth. And I'm not judging you. Okay, I'm not. This is what it is. Okay, um, somebody has blocked their emotions to the point where I'm just going to block this truth. I'm going to push it down as far as I can. And all the while you're pushing it down, it's causing stress. It's causing anxiety. You have to make a stressful, painful decision. If the longer you hold on to this, the more it's going to hurt. Somebody needs to communicate and they need to get moving very, very quickly. This is fast moving action. This is have no fear. Somebody could be coming after you very quickly or you may decide to go after a situation very quickly. This is, you're at a crossroads. You have to decide what are you going to do. It is decision-making time. And it's saying act fast. Act fast, whatever this is. Um, have no fear. Uh-oh. Yeah, you're, 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 you're in your head. Unable to master your emo emotions in regards to a relationship. Now, two, two, two. Twos are about faith and trust. It's about having faith and trust. 
It's about choices. It's about bringing balance. It's about decisions that need to be made. Twos are also about divine guidance, believe it or not. It's also about being authentic. It's also a soulmate connection here. In which you've blocked. You have blocked this connection. These are both blocking, and this is the connection. You're, you're overly emotional at this time, or you're not showing any emotion at all. Completely cold and detached and withdrawn, cold-hearted. And, you know, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes you have to go through that to get to that point of rock bottom, whatever, you know. Whatever this is, there's a cycle in your life that is completing. This is the end. It is the end. It's the end. The world card is the end. It is the last card in the deck. It's the end of the journey. Something is ending. You've turned your back or somebody has turned their back on you. Somebody is, has turned their back or you have turned their back. Could be both of you have turned your backs on each other. Wasted time. Wasted efforts. Perhaps somebody wanted a chance and you didn't give them a chance. The three of wands reversed. Somebody wanted a chance, you didn't give them a chance. And therefore, there's a soulmate connection that is ending. It's ending. It's a completion. Somebody had their heart guarded so much and was so cold-hearted that they could not... see that this this ship they couldn't see that this was right in front of them they couldn't see what was right in front of them anyway there's a there's a new the basically so the outcome is the outcome is a new beginning so you do have a new beginning which probably leads to new love so congratulations there's one phase that you know, this is so contradictory. I mean, it's back and forth, back and forth. I think there's one situation that, you know, you're having a hard time letting go of. You're having a really hard time letting go of it. But you really want to move forward. But I feel like you can't move forward because this is a soulmate connection, okay? But I feel like you block your, your truth. You block the truth and you re re detach yourself from some situation even though it hurts really, really, really bad, it does. It hurts really, really bad to detach yourself because you're, you're so afraid of being hurt again. You feel like this would never work out, so you might as well just pretend that this isn't love, whatever. So you block the truth. You do. There's, that's the way it is. You block the truth. It's the truth, okay? You block the truth. There's, there's, you guys can try to change it all you want, okay? Somebody is blocking the truth, trying to think th think things are, the grass is greener on the other side. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, it's nothing to me. It's nothing to me. So just so y'all know, it's, it, I, nope, it ain't nothing to me. Um, there is a new beginning here, a new opportunity for victory and success. With who? I don't know. It's probably not with your ex. Because you've blocked it. You've shut it down. So I think this ex is probably no longer interested. Um, but let's see what we got here. Ooh. Damn. Ace of Cups. Here we have love. And this is new love. This is new love. Somebody loves you. Because this is, this is in how other people see you. This is the position is how other people see you. Somebody loves you, but they see that you're not offering love. Your challenge is getting out of your head and accepting love, but you will not. You'd like to escape the reality. <laughs> Escapism. Block it out. Your challenge is accepting the reality. This is the challenge position. It's you. 
it's in you living in an illusion uh, escaping the truth escaping the truth and this is this guy delivers truth oh my goodness gracious your challenge is is being honest with yourself unblocking your heart so that love can be can happen what is this two of cups is this a new love here another two <laughs> two 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 faith and trust soulmate connection uh, this is about being flexible. It's about taking the next step. It's about doing the right thing. Apologize. Act with integrity. I mean, you have to do the right thing. This is an apology. This is a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, connected to you. We also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Either way, this is an offer an apology. This is speak the truth, be, do the right thing to bring balance back, and harmony back to your life. But there's there's too many conflicts here. This is again speaking the truth, even if it hurts. Either this person has been watching you, or you've been watching this person wanting to say something, but reluctant to do so. Pride. Pride is huge. There's an opportunity for a new beginning here. Whether this is somebody new, could be somebody new, brand new. Could be somebody from the past because I see that you haven't moved on from somebody from the past. And you guys can, and can write in the comments, oh, I have, well, oh, bullshit. You're trying to replace the person you love with somebody new. We all do it. That's what I see here. There's an opportunity for a new passionate beginning. A reconciliation perhaps. The Ace of Cups is a reconciliation, but it could be new love as well. You have an opportunity here. You have to make a choice. Do you? And this is this makes complete sense. Past, new. Past, new. What the hell do you want? Do you want? And that this that's all these twos. You have to make a choice. Do you want to go back to the past or do you want the new? That is the question. Does the past want Pisces? Let's ask this question. Does the past still want Pisces? I see a new passionate beginning here. I do. Whether this is, let's see if this is the past. Does the past want Pisces? Wish fulfillment. Whew. This is rough. It's rough. This person is pissed. The past is pissed. And she wants the truth. This woman wants the truth. Your past wants the truth, man or woman. She likes her independence. She's, she, I don't think that this past wants you. There's been too many obstacles. There's been too many lies. This is, this is stopped. It's halted. It's pride. Pride has gotten in the way. She sees it as it is. There's no forward movement. There's lies. There's too many obstacles. Does the past want you? No. There's been too much deceit. There's been too much sneaky, shady bullshit. Is this new love? I think it is probably at this point, right? New love. New love. Oh. You know, you're going through a run of bad luck here. 
you're going through a run of bad luck and it's like you're not getting you're not getting what you deserve for some reason this is bad karma and that's what happens you get bad your actions whatever this right here the 10 of swords reversed this is this is liberation this is freedom Aries, Leo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, maybe, now I said new love, this is freedom, You're, you free yourself from something that has held you back, this person in the past that has held you back, and perhaps you find a air sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, that brings balance to your life, could be any sign. So I have to tell you, you have to make a decision here. If you truly want new love, you need to truly let your unblock these emotions that you feel for whoever this past person is. Let them go. Let them fly. Step on the greener grass. Don't let the past hold you back because right now the past is holding you back. Free yourself from that situation, even if it hurts. Stop looking at that person. This is looking at that person from afar behind the scenes. Stop. If you want to move on, don't look. You're thinking about going back. <coughs> Excuse me. Couldn't hold that one in. I know you don't like that, but that's the way it is. Um, it could be lust. You could be chasing lust. You could be chasing demons. You could be chasing the wrong dream. This is the devil. Hiding the truth with addictions. I feel as though there is going to be some sort of freedom that comes about. <clears throat> in which you are, are on the verge of losing somebody in your life. Whether you are going to cut them out or they're going to cut you out. And it brings new passion. It brings new love. And this is the real deal. Okay, this is the real deal. This is where you cut somebody out. Or somebody cuts you out. They literally cut the cord. Okay, they cut the cord. Sword, see them all? The cord gets cut. Like, where are, where are those things, you know, that you use in the garden, you know, to cut the cord. The cord gets cut. And it can't be repaired. It's done. It's over. It's completed. It's done. It's done. It's done. And it allows you a new, passionate, exciting, emotional, emotionally fulfilling beginning for the ace of cups and the ace of wands there's an opportunity after you cut somebody or somebody cuts you out of their life for good doesn't keep looking it's over it's done there's no more looking back at this point when there's no more looking back for real every time you look back you look at this person the one in the past it's, it halts the process. It does. It stops the wheel from spinning forward. Every single time you look at this person on social media or whatever, you bring yourself backwards. You cut that cord and you don't look back. You free yourself. You feel that liberation and a new beginning will truly start for you. So Pisces, I do see a major new beginning, a major new life for you after you truly cut somebody out and don't look back. 
And if you can't truly cut that cord, then I suggest you head in that direction and stop blocking the truth. If I'm telling you to get the fucking shredders out and cut the goddamn cord and you're like, <gasps> then I suggest you get in your vehicle and go back to that direction. Do you want a new beginning or not? Because I see that there's a lot of indecision here and you have to make a choice. What do you want? Right now, things are out of balance. Right, th right now, things are chaotic. You don't even know what the hell you want. You don't. Masking the truth, totally escaping reality. And you guys, you don't have to like me. That's fine. I am not going to be your, your, your accomplice, accomplice in this mask, this, this pretending. No. You're talking to reality girl here. There's an opportunity for something to be revived. There is. This is a revival. But if you escape reality and you bury your heart and you block the truth, then whatever. Act now. Think later. Take action. Take action right now. Get moving. Have no fear. Whatever this is, I don't know what it is. Things are completely chaotic at this time, I'm sorry to tell you. And I think it's because of your indecisiveness. You know, you're telling the universe one thing, and but feeling another. You're telling the universe that you want somebody new, but your heart says that you don't. You have a choice between a Leo and a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. I don't know. I don't know. Things are unstable. Things are insecure. You have to find your strength. You need to find your courage. You need to find your confidence to, to fight for what you want. Fight for what you want. Pisces. Pisces is going to need some strength this week. Somebody could be walking away from you, Pisces. Okay? Somebody could be walking away from you. It could be this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All is not as it seems. Be careful. All is not as it seems. Not even you. Not even you can know it all, you know? There's something cooking behind the scenes. And I think that something is going out of your life that is going to bring you a better new beginning. I really do. I think that you have a better new beginning here. Whether it's the person that you left or the, the, the new one, you know, because I, I kind of feel like maybe you got you left somebody or they left you. The love never died. I mean, that's what it looks like up here. It looks like the love never died. Okay? The love never died. That is where your wish fulfillment lies. You got involved with somebody else on the rebound. That's the three of wands. It was passion. It was sexual. Whatever. You got involved with somebody else. Now this person, the next person, the second person cuts you out or you cut them out. And you know the rest of the story. So I feel like for some of you, it's about going after what you deserve. Going after what is going to bring balance and harmony back to your life. What's going to bring that stability and security back. Facing your pride. Dealing, I mean, look at the pride here. Pride versus love. So, you know, I feel like, I don't know what this is, but I feel like it's time for you to be logical. I think it's time for you to do the right thing. It's time for you to speak up. It's time for you to make that decision in which you have been going, teetering on back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I feel like somebody is leaving your life, whether it is the ex or the new person that you're with or who knows. 
somebody is leaving your life that is going to allow a beautiful new beginning for you. So I feel like this is a week of actually cutting a cord. Somebody's cord is going to be cut. Don't know whose it is. Could be this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be Leo. Could be any sign because we have them all here. Look at this shit. Oh my God. Take a moment. Stop. Now is not the time to rush into the decision you are about to make. Remember, once you, that cord is truly cut, it is cut. You take those shears, the clippers that clip, you know, branches. You cut that cord and it's it cannot be fixed. Stop. Now is not the time to rush into the, to the decision that you are about to make. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. Two different decks. Take time making this decision. Oh my God, this is a heavy decision. You need to choose past or future. And it is time to make that decision because I have to tell you, And I think that you already know this. The time has run out. And that is absolutely no joke. And it's just not in the cards. I'm telling you right now, Pisces, the time has truly run out. If you are in love with somebody, you better get moving. Because it's not happening. It's not going to happen again. Take your time making this decision. Archangel Michael, please help me stay strong and relaxed as I approach this situation. Remind me to detach and step back, allowing the situation to naturally unfold. Thank you for protecting me. This is a week of dealing with some sort of bond that is breaking for good apparently that's what you want there's no looking back once something is dead it's dead. 